Hey guys, it's another weekend. You know what time it is. It's time for Tacos and Geeks Essential Anime. Yes, we're back. So this is episode three. Previously on episode two of a Tacos and Geeks Essential Anime, I talked about the psychological thriller, Perfect Blue. And I was keeping up with a trend of grounded anime such as Grave of the Fireflies and Perfect Blue and I wanted to really start off with those because I wanted to show people that anime can also be just as dramatic, just as gritty, just as grounded as live action. So now, hey, it's time to really go into the sci-fi realm and go and leave movies alone for this week and next week and we're going to focus on animated TV shows. So. I was really in a toss up. I wanted to go, I was thinking about going real, real old school with it, but I thought about it and I was like, you know what? There is no better anime right now that I could think of to kick off essential anime with TV shows than the one, the only, which some people call the greatest anime ever made, greatest anime TV show ever made, than the one and only, that's right, Cowboy Bebop. So, <laughs> what is Cowboy Bebop? Well, let me, as always, read the back for those who are not familiar with Cowboy Bebop. And I'm going to tell you why Cowboy Bebop is an essential anime. This is a true classic, you guys. But let me, let me, let's, let's, let's just read it. The crew of the Bebop is once again ready to take control of space, bringing bad guys to justice and trying to make some cash while doing it. Join the always cool Spike investigate genius Jet, the fabulous Faye Valentine, the amazing but weird Ed, and the super smart Welsh Corgi named and as they try to make a buck in the year 2071. How do they do it? They're bounty hunters, but then again, you probably wouldn't be reading this if you didn't know that. <laughs> well, you, some people who don't know the anime that this episode is for, they don't know that they're bounty. Anyway, let's, let's continue that. Now, the entire series has been remastered in a fully digital 5.1 audio. So sit back, turn your speakers up, and get ready to experience Cowboy Bebop Remix. And this is the complete collection. And this is something that you definitely need to have. It's essential. But why is it essential? Well, Cowboy Bebop, just story-wise, just the way stories, characters, and the music. Before I even begin about the stories and the characters, um, let me talk a little bit about the music. And let me say this name because throughout this entire Essential Anime series, you're gonna hear a couple of names come up and this one's gonna come up often when it comes to music. Yoko Kano. Get used to hearing me or the staff say that name, Yoko Kano. Yoko Kano's composition in Cowboy Bebop is one of the best anime compositions by just fusing classical music and jazz. And just the jazz tracks alone just sets the bar already for this anime. There's not that much anime that uses the jazz tracks that and just uses the way she does it. And the way she does the composition is just brilliantly done. And I mean, if it really captures the characters of each character, especially Spike. Spike is just this cool bounty hunter and the way his past is, and I don't want to get into details, too much details, because this is something I cannot spoil. You have to watch if you never watched Cowboy Bebop, for the, Lord, for the love of God. Pause this, get the DVD or Blu-ray, or I think it's on Funimation Stream, Watch Cowboy Bebop. Just watch it if you haven't never seen Cowboy Bebop. Just, just watch it. The animation I have to talk about, it is glorious. <laughs> when you get my Bobby Root on, it's glorious. It is absolutely glorious. The, just the way the battles are, the way they drew space, the ships, the use of color, the lighting, and of course the voice acting, both Japanese and English dub. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And the characterization, each character, it is, think of it, it is an ensemble anime. Because this anime has a huge, I would say at least five characters, five main characters that they really have to focus on. Each get a hell of a lot of screen time to flush out their backstories, 
give the characters time to grow. None of these characters are static. A lot of all these characters throughout the series change over the course from when we first meet them. They all have something that's driving them. They all have past that they have to confront. And it's just beautifully written and it's sometimes very emotional, especially the ending. One of the most shocking endings in an anime TV show. I was not expecting that. A lot of us who have seen it was not expecting this and it really does hit you hard because that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I can't. I, I was about to go into it, but I'm not going to go into it. It is one of the best animes ever made. Uh, just from the character standpoint, music, production, acting from both English and Japanese dub. And it's space bounty hunters. Who doesn't want to be a space bounty hunter? It's probably one of the most, to this day, cosplayed characters, especially Faye Valentine, and for those who want to get into the political of, you know, having a strong, central female character that's not this typical Denzel in distress, Faye Valentine is that character. She is a complete badass, and she basically is just that strong, central character, and you can see why when you go to con um, cons, why a lot of girls play her, or why a lot of girls want to be her. Not only is she beautiful, but she's strong, she's powerful, she lives by her own code just a great character one of my favorites besides spike it is fun the action is stylish the way the action scenes are just the way it fits just to keep talking about the music and the reason why i keep talking about the music is the music plays the central role music is kind of a character itself the way yoko did it but there's fight scenes where when spike is fighting the way the music is playing it's like this rhythm and fluidity to it and it I can't believe that it complements it so well. Usually just the music sets the tone, but the fact that the music also complements the fighting style of the character is just absolutely brilliantly done and one of the greatest anime TV shows ever made. So definitely pick up Cowboy Bebop if you haven't and check it out. It's one of the greatest anime TV shows ever made. I had to start off with this. It's fun, it has great comedy, it has great action, great drama, and one of the most shocking endings in an anime TV series that I was not expecting. So this is Justin from ToxicGeeks.com saying, later days. Catch you in the next one.